I'm here at Packersham Equestrian Centre in Leatherhead to take a look at the best way to load a horse or pony into a trailer or horse box. Apart from humans, horses and ponies are the best travelled animal in the world. But if you want to take your horse anywhere, you need to be able to load it into a horse box. Many horses are used to being transported in a trailer or lorry, but sometimes it can be a real challenge to load a horse. An owner needing to move a little travelled pony from a field, for instance, may have a challenge on their hands. Well, someone who has loads of experience in loading horses and ponies into trailers is Ben Mays, President of the British Equine Veterinary Association. And Ben joins us now to help us with this problem. Ben, where do you start if you've got a difficult horse or pony? Well, it, it helps if they're familiar with the, with the trailer or lorry. And one way of doing that is to, to put the trailer in the middle of the field where the, the horses and ponies live and, and just let them to familiarise it. Uh, allow them to, to go up to it and, and maybe even walk into it if we're lucky. Perhaps enticing them into the, the lorry or the trailer using feed, for example, putting their feed on the one bit of ramp they walk up and then putting it a bit further up, that will be a, a good way forward to develop that. If you have got your trailer or, or lorry in the middle of the field though, just watch for bits sticking out and injuries and if you're leaving it there, you know, that, that's worth bearing in mind. And when you're actually loading it, if it's not in the middle of the field, where are you going to position it? For example, a lot of yards posh yards have what are called loading bays and trying to create one of those in the middle of a field you could reverse up to a slope and, and that lessens the slope of the, of the ramp. Another thing is you could reverse your trailer or lorry up to a stable into a confined space so the horse has a more closed vision and, and can't go to the left or right of it. And would a, a lunge line or something like that be useful if you didn't have that sort of geography? Lunge lines can be controversial, but if used safely, just to entice the horse from behind in a safe manner for the horse and the operator, can encourage them, can close that space down and encourage them into the lorry. Loading can be an extremely difficult process, but always be wary of using aids, particularly the whip. There are better and subtler means of encouragement. We hear lots about horse psychology. Is there any way you can use that to help things? The horses are herd animals and they also require a herd leader. If you can establish yourself, your personality, stand beside them, walk confidently forward, they may adopt you as their leader and, and take themselves forward. Also, using a, a field mate would be is, is really effective. So if you've got a horse in the same field, a horse that it's familiar with, load that first, show them that it's safe, also use it as a lead. And sometimes in certain circumstances when we have to transport the horse, any horse will do to lead through, follow through, and then perhaps try the, 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 the more difficult horse on its own. And what about the, the pony itself? Is there any way you should be preparing it? What, you know, should it be tacked up or? I mean, it's very difficult and controversial what a horse should wear to load. A head collar is best. A lot of people use travelling boots and bandages to protect, and there is some debate whether they are protected or not. If the horse isn't familiar with them, don't use them. Using a controlling head collar or a chiffney or a bridle to give more control to the operator can be useful, but they should, the horse should be familiar with them and the person should be familiar with their use as well. So Ben, are there any times that an owner should maybe just abort an attempt to, to load the animal? As a veterinary practice, we see a surprising number of injuries related to loading. Uh, and and familiarisation is the key. As soon as the aids start coming out, we mentioned lunge lines, but controlling head collars and, and whips particularly, um, if you've got a horse that that's resistant, perhaps that's the time to abort. We see horses going down, injuring themselves on the gravel or the hard, going over backwards and killing themselves instantly. So, so injury does happen and if, if it's coming to that situation, stop, go away, familiarise and prepare for another day. If you passed your car driving test before 1997, you're entitled to tow a trailer, drive a three and a half tonne vehicle and drive a seven and a half tonne lorry. If you passed your test after that date, you will only be able to drive a horse box up to three and a half tonnes without taking a test. If you want to drive one up to seven and a half tonnes or tow a trailer, you'll need to take the appropriate separate test. Before towing, it's essential that you check your vehicle is capable of legally towing your fully laden horse trailer. You should know the weight of your fully laden horse trailer and or your towing vehicle's maximum towing weight to stay within the law. 
You also need to be aware that a horse box must pass an MOT test every year to make sure that it's roadworthy. But other parts of the horse box, such as the floor, aren't inspected. So horses and ponies can be at risk of injury as a result, particularly in an old or reconditioned vehicle. Surprisingly, the law doesn't require any safety tests for a trailer. And as long as that trailer, when it was built, complied with construction and the relevant use regulations, then it is legal to use in the UK. So it's the owner's responsibility to make sure that the trailer is in first-rate condition. Now, Ben, this looks like a very well-maintained trailer, but what injuries are ponies at risk of if it's not so well-maintained? Well, two things. There's the ramp, firstly, at the time of loading. If it's poorly maintained, the horse or pony can put its foot through it or, or slip, which is obviously can cause injury. Uh, and, and perhaps more importantly is, is the, the flooring of the vehicle itself, because when it's moving and it's poorly maintained, the horse or, or pony can put its foot through the floor and that can really cause some horrific injuries. So, so maintenance is key. When loading your horse, remember, allow your horse to get used to the trailer. Don't rush it, it'll take time to train your horse. Be calm and confident with your horse. Make sure your horse box is in good condition. Ensure you have the right driving licence for towing or driving your horse box. Horses and ponies have relied on their ability to see and hear predators approaching for thousands of years. So asking them to walk into a dark box from which there appears to be no way of escape is something that's completely alien to their survival instincts. But there are ways you can overcome your pony's fear of loading. You just need confidence, patience and the respect of your horse.